guys, we're packing up to head out camping. So I'm gonna show you my food in the next clip and then I'm gonna pack all of that up. My clothes, I have to pack up the dogs, it's like having children. And then we're gonna get the truck packed up, load our four-wheeler, and we will be on the road to head to Sandpoint, Idaho to our cabin. So I am packing up our food to go camping. I'm just gonna give you guys a quick run through of kind of what we're bringing. And I'm gonna preface this with Friday is my splurge day, so what we'll be having for dinner on Friday is not WW friendly. So the rest of the meals, I'm gonna make them WW friendly. So, of course, I am bringing some dog treats for Diesel and Lola. I decided to go ahead and bring some black grapes just so we have some fruit available. And then this is the coffee that I'm gonna bring. I have a regular coffee pot for camping, so this coffee from Walmart is really, really good. Uh, yes, more, so I'm bringing one Hershey's bar to not overdo it. Eggs, of course, because for breakfast, both days, we're gonna make breakfast sandwiches. So I have these English muffins, Canadian bacon, cheese. So on Friday, I'll use regular cheese and then I'm bringing some light cheese as well for Saturday. So we're gonna make essentially a breakfast sandwich and then we can have that with some fruit. For lunches, I'm bringing some Ritz crackers so that we can do crackers, meat and cheese. I have, of course, graham crackers for s'mores. Friday night, we're gonna make burgers. We're gonna do these Butcher Select Angus. These are delicious hamburgers. Not WW friendly, but they are so good. Of course, I need hamburger buns for that. Hot dog buns, because we are gonna do hot dogs tonight, Thursday night for dinner. And I'll show you those, I'll be getting around to those. And then for the meat and cheese and crackers, I just bought this Old World Salami. These little rounds are just easy peasy for camping. So we'll have those for lunch on Friday with the Ritz. Of course, I'm bringing some Built Bars, one of the new mango chocolate cream, and then the Caramel Brownie Built Burner. This will just tide me over, keep me on track for today and Saturday. Marshmallows, of course, for s'mores. I'm bringing some sweet treats for me for tonight and Saturday. These are the Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. These are purchased off of the Protein Wise website. If you're interested, there is a link with a $10 off coupon for you down below. So I'm gonna bring those, and then I'm gonna bring a Quest Bar too, just as an extra added precaution in case I don't make it home for lunch tomorrow. This will definitely tide me over. This is a slice of Velveeta cheese. This is for me to put on my breakfast sandwich on Saturday when I'm on track. Cheese for meat, cheese, and crackers. And then this cheese, they actually sent this to me since we don't have this in my area. It is amazing. I'm gonna use this on my uh, cheese and crackers as well. And then this also will go on my breakfast sandwich. So that that way I'm not overdoing it on the heavy cheese. So I've got a Velveeta slice and the 75% light Cabot. We will have bacon for breakfast on Friday morning. I'm bringing some cookies for camping. We need cookies. I'm also bringing some avocados in my avocado holder so I can put this on breakfast sandwiches, burgers. It'll just give us that extra healthy fat. For Saturday morning when I am on track for breakfast, so we'll have some turkey sausage links with our breakfast sandwiches. Baked beans for Friday night. So dinner will be burgers and baked beans. I'm also bringing an Easy Mac and a rice and ro rice aroni cup just to have if we wanna have this as a side dish, maybe one night or a quick easy lunch or a snack. So I'm bringing those. My husband will probably eat those more than me. My hot dogs for tonight are these turkey ones. These are only three smart points a piece. And then I'm bringing these Angus beef for the hubby. Doritos, that will be for Friday. And then for tonight, to stay on track, I've got my Trader Joe's Baked Cheese Crunchies. So that's it for food. We're bringing lots of water, wine, beer, pop. So I'm gonna get packing my clothes and take you guys to the next step, which is loading up our truck. Are you guys excited to go camping? Are you, are you so excited? They cannot contain themselves. I don't know how they know, but they know. Right guys? Say we know mom, we know. So we're packing up to head out. And if you take note, this is not a full size truck. So we reserved a full size truck about a month ago from Thrifty. So if you have a Thrifty in your area, 
not recommended because we wanted to be able to bring our four-wheeler camping and it gives a little bit more room for diesel so we got there today to pick up our truck and they said that they've already rented them all out and that they did not reserve one for us so we have this little tiny nissan which means we can't bring our four-wheeler which is a good thing because it's already loaded down with the little bit of stuff that we have added to the back of our four-wheeler just our general camping things all we have left to add is our bike and we've got the back seat fully covered per the usual for diesel so we cover every nook and cranny because of his shedding with sheets so we're ready to go little disappointed that we have a small truck but we're still ready to get on the road thrifty tell us about your um thoughts on thrifty car rental honey uh, pretty simple <laughs> Hey guys, we are about to hit the road. We've got the AC cranked because it is 100 degrees outside. So I cannot wait to get to the lake or river or whatever it is that we're camping on so that we can go in the water and enjoy the cool water. So everyone's here except Troy. He is doing the last couple minute things in the house. So Lola's here. Hi, babe. Say hi. And then Diesel gets the bath. Diesel, hey buddy. Hi, handsome. So we're here. We're ready. We're about to hit the road. Are you our driver? Yeah, are you our driver? Okay. And this guy back here is our lookout. Diesel, hey, are you mommy's lookout? Yeah, we're ready. Everyone's ready. We're just waiting on dad. So we've started to settle into the cabin a little bit. So we've kind of got our stuff everywhere, but I'll give you guys a quick tour. It is absolutely adorable in here. So first, best part is there is a full bathroom with a shower so this is definitely somewhere that you could spend a large amount of time because you're able to have an in-unit bathroom and shower there's a full kitchen area and they even have everything all of your dishes pots and pans everything included so we've just kind of set out our stuff there's lots of cabinets super cute and there's a refrigerator so that's always nice. So we were actually able to put up our, all of our food in here instead of having it strung out all over in coolers. And then of course there's another area here that has a microwave and a um, cabinets and extra storage. And then there is an eating area, which is really nice as well. It's definitely like a little hotel room, but you have that awesome cabin vibe to it as well. So there's a little table and then there is a double bed. So that's going to be fun for Troy, myself and Lola, but it's so cute in here, you guys. And then over here is a whole living room area. We've already kind of taken the couch apart. That's where I'm hoping Diesel will sleep. There's just cubbies with decorations there's journals guest books and this is the best part look at this this is the window in the living room at least right out to the river i'll take you guys out and show you the fire pit it's awesome there's even a little stove in here tv and then we have stacked our stuff here the cush cushions off the couch to keep them nice since that's where diesel will sleep and actually this right here is another door that leads to outside so it is really cute in here. Hi guys. Super duper cute in here. Love it. Love, love. I think this is somewhere we could stay for quite a while. So let me take you outside. I'll show you the outside of the cabin. So here's the outside of the cabin. Cool, there's a tree growing right, right through the cabin and it's awesome. So we're parked over there, as you can see. So this is the outside of the cabin. It's landscaped beautifully. And then this is the fire pit area. So that's awesome. You can sit there and look right out into the river. So pretty, these beautiful flowers in the river. So right down here, if you walk down, there's a little trail here. You guys can see it like right here. You walk down and you right here on the shore of the river. So Diesel's already been down there once, but we're going to go back down and I'll show you guys him swimming. But isn't this absolutely beautiful? Can't beat having your own little piece of paradise. So here's a better little image of the tree growing out of the ground in the middle of the cabin. Super cool. And the name of the cabin is The Last Resort. So super cute. I didn't show you guys the porch. There's just a little bench. There's even a barbecue. And there's that door that I mentioned that we won't be using because of the bins. And then there's a cute little table and a couple of chairs that just look out here onto the river.
boy bod. Bring it back. Good job, buddy. Good job. I just took a dip in the river. It was so nice. So we're gonna let Diesel swim for a little bit and then we are gonna head up and have some dinner, some hot dogs, some chips, and just relax. So here's our dinner for tonight. We barbecued on this cute little barbecue out there, some hot dogs. They provided all the condiments, which is awesome. And then we just have some regular hot dog buns. And tonight we're gonna do some baked cheese crunchies. So that's gonna be our dinner. We may have some grapes and then a little bit later we'll make some marshmallows. So here is my dinner. So I have two of the turkey dogs. They are three smart points a piece. Two buns for three smart points a piece, so that is 12. And then I have four smart points worth of the baked Cheetos, so that is 16 points. I had a lot of points left today. I haven't eaten much today. And then look at over here. I may be having a glass of wine as well. So that's all I'm gonna have tonight other than maybe roasting a marshmallow. It's about 8.15 and we're gonna start a fire. It is so pretty out. I can't wait for it to get dark. We're gonna start a fire and we're gonna relax for just a little bit. Fire by the river. Sun is setting. It's almost nine o'clock, so. Oh, that was one was high. Oh, come on. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of bats out here. Look at all of them flying around. Super cool. All right, guys. We are in for the night. It's a little after nine. I think we're going to play some cards. The dogs are exhausted. Yeah, they're exhausted. So we're just going to be in for the night, get a good night's sleep, be up in the morning to have another super fun day. I think we're going to plan on doing some swimming. I'll show you guys kind of what I eat tomorrow. I didn't have anything else after dinner, so that was all that I had besides water. So I'll show you guys what I'm eating tomorrow and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. We are sitting out on the deck of the cabin. It's a little before seven. I just made myself a cup of coffee of course. So we're just going to sit out here, drink coffee, relax a little bit, and kind of enjoy the beautiful morning. I'll go ahead and flip you guys around and show you uh, what it looks like outside. It is a beautiful morning. So here you have it. This is literally the view off of the deck. Look at that. Here's the deck. Isn't that just absolutely gorgeous? And like I said, it's just a beautiful morning. There's fish jumping. Yeah, it's just, it's gorgeous. So we're just gonna have some coffee here out on the deck. The dogs are out here, Lola's out. And Diesel is somewhere back here, let's see. He's back there, there he is. Yep, so we're just gonna sit out here, kind of enjoy the scenery. So here's my breakfast for Friday morning. So I'm working on my coffee, has some of the sugar-free sweet cream, Italian sweet cream creamer. That's a mouthful. And I've got two slices of bacon and here I have a breakfast sandwich. So I have an egg, a slice of cheese, two slices of Canadian bacon, and then we've got some black grapes. So this is what I'm having for breakfast on Friday. Just like at home, they're baking just like they do at home. Watching every move we make with the food. Watch, he moves the bacon, they move their heads. <laughs> We came over to the Clark Fork Cabinet Gorge Hydroelectric Development Dam. It's supposed to be a 600 foot long, 200 foot high concrete arched dam. So we're gonna walk up, we brought the dogs, it's really pretty out here, and we're gonna hike up to the viewpoint 
up there and look over at the dam. So here's our viewpoint from the top. I'll take you guys over and show you the dam. But man, it is beautiful even at the dam over here. So this way is the actual dam. And here's the Cabinet Gorge Dam. Really cool. So the dam's closed right now. We were wondering why the river was low at our cabin. So that's because the dam is closed. But isn't it just beautiful up here? We've made our way here to the Ross Creek Cedars. So this is very large, dense forest of cedar trees and it has this rainforest kind of vibe to it. So we're gonna walk in just a little ways. Here's the trail. Here's the dogs. Hey guys, you guys excited? So we're just gonna walk in just a little ways and I'll get some video for you guys, but super cool. This is really cool. This is three huge cedar trees all grown together. So they all start at one base of a trunk. So cool. Donna, are you in the tree? Hey, look at mommy, Baba. Look at mama. Look at these trees. And they have these little areas where the roots are. It's so cool. They're massive. This one is awesome. It's got a big stick jutting out in the middle of it and two grown together. So cool. So here's what we're gonna have for lunch today. I sliced up some cheese. We have some of those salamis, some Ritz crackers. I went ahead and made some guacamole out of my avocados and some grapes left over from breakfast. So this is what we are going to have for lunch. We did have some licorice while we were out and about. So everyone's here. Ready for lunch. Good boy, bud. Yeah. Yeah. Poor Lola got into something. She's all swollen. Her poor eyes. She's got big bumps on her head. If you guys can see that, Troy drove into the town to find some Benadryl. We called the vet, and we're just going to give her some Benadryl. And her poor little eye is so swollen in her face my baby so we're getting her some medicine hopefully that helps 
Daddy got the baby girl some Benadryl, so her swelling's going down a little bit. She still has her bumps and stuff on her head, but her eye swelling's gone down a little, and she's just going to stay in bed and relax. So here is my dinner for tonight. I am having a big juicy hamburger. I have the leftover guacamole from lunch and then cheese and one slice of bacon on my burger. Underneath is a little ketchup and mustard and then I'm having some Bush's baked beans and I'm finishing off my bottle of wine, the Moscato. So this is gonna be dinner. If Lola's feeling better, we'll be roasting s'mores a little bit later. We'll just kind of have to see how she's feeling. So this is what I'm gonna be having for dinner. We're roasting some marshmallows and little Missy over here is looking a lot better. She's still a little swollen, aren't you, babe? But you're looking a lot better. Yeah, she's still a little bit swollen. <gasps> ah! <laughs> Every time I burn them. So my burnt marshmallows put went back into the fire and I roasted some fresh ones for my s'more. So this is definitely a must have when camping. Here's the sunset tonight. It is about 8.15 and the sky is pink with a pretty reflection in the lake. So this is our last night here and it's a good way to end it. Hey guys, so we're in for the night. Lola's doing much better. Most of her swelling is gone. I mean, there's still a little bit of swelling, but most of it is gone. So we're just gonna hang out, relax a little bit, make sure she's okay. She took four. 25 milligram Benadryls, which is what the vet that we called recommended. So 99% of the swelling is gone. I don't know what she did. I don't know if something bit her, stung her, she got into something. You never know when you're camping. So she's doing much better. So we're just gonna relax. Diesel went swimming one last time and I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Hi baby, are you feeling better? She's all bundled up, Dad got her all bundled. She's got quite a few bumps on her face and on her head still but her swelling is 99 percent of the way gone so we just gave her a couple more benadryls and we're gonna have breakfast and pack up and head out diesel diesel did you have fun did you have fun yeah you got to swim so many times buddy yeah you won't look at me when the camera's on yeah so we're about to head out so last glimpse of our view from our cabin these two. Are you guys ready? Hey, you ready to go and go home? Yeah, let's go home. So say goodbye to the cabin. Till next time. All right, guys, we are home. We had a little episode on the way home. Lola threw up twice on my lap on a towel in the car. So I think that maybe having the Benadryl this morning on an empty stomach because she hasn't eaten made her throw up, but we're home. She seems to be much better. She's went outside. She's got her bone, but we had a really good time. Other than Lola having her allergy issues, we had a super fun time, but I need a shower. I need to get unpacked and start the rest of my weekend. So thank you for coming along with us on another camping vlog so you can see kind of what we eat. I didn't have anything after my breakfast besides the built Bar, so we are good to go. Again, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one for the camping vlog, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!